Okay, this is a curious one. I've got a ground stake here that's a very high grade stainless. Um, it does have some magnetism about it. Uh, I also have some steel wire here, PVC coated steel wire. Uh, there's a magnet there. I don't think that needs to be there right now. And that steel wire travels off over to near that peg bucket over there. There's a screwdriver that connects to the ground. So uh, two ground connections separated by a steel wire. The reason for the steel wire is because steel carries uh, a magnetic current that um, copper won't. Um, and uh, using this LED panel here, uh, just mucking around because I was watching um, Nigel Hands' curious, uh, curious, curious videos with magnets and and two grounds and you've got 18 volts there now the other end of that black connection there to this LED panel goes to the ground the other end of this multimeter goes to the ground they're both isolated from um, earth wiring stakes the house is um, the house is over there. So uh, there's probably earth stakes near this guy's shed and and anything else. But we're looking at DC here. And the other curious thing is the positive wire of this is just barely touching the grass. If it doesn't touch the grass, we don't get the 18 volts. Oh, yes, we do. Really weird behaviour. I don't know what's going on here. Um, voltage between these two here. bouncing up and down like crazy. If I do hurts and then detect what's on the wire, even this is curious. We're seeing what look like um, earth frequencies. Just give it a moment to try to lock onto something. And it'll come up with values like 10 and 3 and 6.2 1.3 nearly 5 5 7.2 these are all earth frequency like Schumann resonance at 21 point 13 2.26 so we're definitely tapping into the ground somehow and extracting something comments. Thanks for watching.